Hi, Nick Saviano here. Last week I did a video on the progressive development of an elite or in some cases world-class player. And I was stressing the importance of the stages of development, the progressions that each player must go through, and that no player skips levels. No player is able to go from one level of play to two or three levels higher. All players go through these stages. Even if they go through them very quickly, they still progress and develop through each stage. Now, when it pertains to competition, it's important to master each level of play. However, that doesn't preclude a player from playing up. In fact, it's really important and beneficial to play at higher levels. However, when you play up a few times, guess what? You got to play down a little bit. The specific reasoning behind this is that you play up in order to get used to a different type of ball that your opponent hits, often harder, or they play at a higher level of sophistication with their knowledge and understanding of the game. And therefore, when you play the wrong shot, they'll make you pay a price. This is all very valuable. However, if it means you're constantly playing at that level and not winning, that's counterproductive. So when you are playing up and you're getting the benefit of learning that level, you also got to make sure you play at a lower level where it enables you to get two, three, four wins under your belt. So your overall win to loss ratio, as I said last week, and it applies the same thing today, is you get at the two to one or three to one win loss ratio. So, to be very clear, playing at different levels of the game, where you're playing out of your comfort zone, where you're playing players that are better than you are, is certainly beneficial. You also want to play against your peers, where you're right in the hunt and you're competing very closely. And then finally, you want to play in events where you're more of the favorite and you have an opportunity to either win the tournament or competition, whatever it might be. Understand the fundamental principles of development that you have to go through the stages and the progressions are right there. They do not change. They're fundamental principles that will be applicable today or 10 years from now. The fluctuation in the levels that you play can vary as long as you stick with that principle of a 2 to 1, 3 to 1 win to loss ratio. And if you do that, good things will happen in your development. Nick Saviano, over and out.